Hi, welcome to strugglinginvestor.com. Today I'm going to show you how to mail merge your lead lists into Word so you can integrate it with your letters to make it more personal. First thing I want to show you is my lead list. And I want to give you a few uh, helpful hints to make it a little easier on you when you get into Word. First thing is you want to make sure you have a header column. This way you'll know which uh, fields you are selecting in Word. And another helpful tip is uh, in this case you'll see that I have the executive, the deceased name and address and also the executor's name and address. Now, if you have two streets, one for the executor, one for the deceased, you might want to distinguish those a little bit just to make sure that you know which one you're picking. I've messed up, printed all my letters out, and realized that I had mixed up the streets, and then I had to redo them. That's a little bit of a pain. So, now let's move on over to Word. I'm going to select my, letter, my probate letter, just a random generic letter. You can see here. Now, First thing you want to do is make sure you have your uh, your mail merge toolbar visible. I have mine visible here by default. But if you do not have toolbar visible, you go to View Toolbars and you come down and select Mail Merge. Once you have that showing, you want to open your data source, which would be your uh, your Excel spreadsheet. Do that. You'll Find the button, top, open data source, and I'll go find my Excel spreadsheet, which is here, and I'll open it up. And I'll ask you which sheet you want to do. It's probably the first sheet. I don't label them just because I'm lazy. And OK. Now the data source, your lead list sheet, is attached to your Word document. Prove this, you can go into your insert merge fields, and you can see everything's set up right here. <coughs> now, first thing I want to do is get rid of this recipient. I want to make that the, the executor's first name, the person I'm sending the letter to. So I'll highlight that, come down here pick up the first name and includes. For some reason you can't mess around move around on the word document while you have that field list showing. So now that I have that let's see if you toggle that little switch it'll show you highlight the merge field that you put in. And the next I want to put in the deceased name here. It kind of makes it a little more personal, so it's not so generic. And at this point in my letter at the beginning, I'm going to add the first and last name of the deceased. So I'll come up here, the first name, and then the last name. As you can see, they come bunched together, no spaces in between. So you have to close and go back and add the space yourself. Now, what else though? I want to add the the actual address that I'm interested in. Some people choose not to add the address just to make it just in case the person might have some other property to sell, not necessarily the one you're you found. So we'll come here and this sentence understanding that the property I'm going to add located at I'm going to insert the property street. That's the wrong one. Get back out and delete that in a second. The deceased street and then the city. I accidentally added that in there, so we'll delete that. Property located at street in city. Maybe available to purchase. Now, lastly, I want to put in a uh, address block for the executor just to make the letter look a little more official. Let's 
to address block. This is the example of what it will look like. I don't want the company name in there. And I would like it to be first name, last name, and any juniors preceding it. And then we'll also have to match up the fields just to make sure it's showing the right ones. So we got the last name of the executive, the first name, the address, and the city. See, this city is actually the the deceased city. I want to put in the executor's city. And the state and the fine one, so we we'll pick the executor's state. And the zip was also messed up and was showing the deceased zip. So I want to pick the executor's zip. And that should be it for there. You hit OK. You hit OK, then the address block will show up. Now, we just want to look at to see if everything is OK. I want to toggle on the button to view the merge data. And you can see sending it to Glen Allen at Six Portion Way, Marsh Plains, New Jersey, 07950. Now, one little problem that I have yet to figure out is when you merge a zip code that leads with a zero, it strips the zero off of it. It's treating it as a number, and I have yet to figure out a way to keep that zero in there and treat that zip code as an address or a text field. But I don't worry about it. I've sent out mail and it gets to the destination anyway. So at this point, I'm going to not let it stop me. You see, the loved one, Robert Allen, and located, just understand the property look at 143 Walk John Avenue in Chatham may be available to purchase. So everything's set, you can scroll through to get all your uh, leads. And if you're happy with everything, come up here and just print. So that should be it. It's very easy. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. If you have any uh, helpful hints, like how to get that leading zero in the zip code, I'd love to hear it. Uh, thanks for listening and hopefully I didn't bore you too much.